Alright, yeah. It's <laughs> being real now. Talk that talk, what it do, Ski? Let's talk get that it. talk is back and better than ever. Yes, sir. Sadly, a year later, but we are back and it's time to ride with y'all. You know what I'm saying? We are back. We added somebody to this now. So now this is the official trio. We got big fads in the building. I love it, I love it, I love Three it. Three Musketeers. <laughs> we all start, yeah, we're starting off by basically like, we'll explain kind of why we decided to bring fads on and kind of why you wanted to be on it also you can kind of explain to them why you wanted to be on the podcast and actually you well, know first can i take my shot you know what i'm saying you can take to, your shot go ahead this is cheers to talk that talk me and back um we yeah, so, you know, it's been a year so we're about to start this off get it start popping let's yes, get sir. it pop it like a drop it yes, sir. i'm the only one taking a shot y'all taking yeah. a red bull shot. so a million and plus <laughs> when i say like when i say bring it on I don't even know what camera to look at. Sorry, this one or this one. But when I say bringing on fads, I don't mean by like, you know, like, how would I say it? Because I keep saying like we brought them on, like as in yeah, like, our head already have 100 episodes. I get what we you're kind saying. Of, we're starting. This is the this start. This is basically the rebranding. Start of, rebranding. We're rebranding. Yeah. We starting needed somebody. Was, we needed a single <laughs> guy. We got yeah. Let's. Yeah. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm the only one that's single for right now. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> hopefully we get to find you a girlfriend within a couple episodes. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't think I really want that right now. Why not? But. You know, these two are married. Yeah. So. What the fuck is wrong with having a girlfriend? I didn't even say that. I didn't even say that. I just, <laughs> I just said. Look, look, we're not even gonna cut to me, man. Let's just really cut to like Reese. Reese, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you got Borat in the building. No, no, no. Hey, Let's really I'm gonna be completely honest. I was trying to go as far into the episode as I could without trying to. Because you knew I was gonna talk about it. I told you I was gonna talk about it. All right. I'll just explain. It's, no, it's, no, it's no, really. No, no. Take the hat yeah, off. Yeah, Tyler's gonna say they don't even no, know. No, because I have the hat perfectly fine. You got to just They know it's so. They can bro. see it in the camera. Look, you can no, see it. No, no. I'm bro. basically wrapped in <laughs> so gauze. It. It's a gauze wrap, whatever. You can see it on my lip and my nose, whatever. I basically, I was in California. Explain to us what was going through your head doing that. What can I explain? What well, explain happened what happened? So basically. <clears throat> There's a water slide at this Airbnb that we had in California. We were there. We just got back today. Um, and this happened yesterday. There's a water slide. And the water slide is into this, it goes into this mini ass pool that's six feet deep. Six feet deep <laughs> is not that, this is not that, like, you can't have a slide that launches your ass with only six feet to go. <laughs> Wait, why did you go face first? That's what Everyone I said. was doing it, so I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go down face first <laughs> on my belly. Pencil. I was going like this. I went like this. I was going out like this, but when I came out, my arms ended up behind me like <coughs> Superman, right? And next thing I know, I shot like a torpedo to the bottom of the pool and just I, all my body weight just smacked the bottom. <laughs> and so I have like scratches all on my forehead and then my nose, my lip. You can see it. It's not monkey pox, all right? He said so, he's scared. People are going to think he got monkey pox. No. I, I wrapped myself like this because I went to the store today and I'm not going to have people <laughs> thinking I got monkey pox up in this bitch. No, I, mean, I scratched myself kinda, with the bottom of the pool. Either monkey pox or you just look like you really just came out of the hospital. Like, like a whole movie. I told, like, the girls, I told the girls I got on a fire with like, alligator. An alligator? One. Get rich and die trying type. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bro, I could have made up a story though. Like, I beat some yeah, you should, ass yeah, in Circle K. Forget the water slide, bro. You should really come with like a hard story. Well, now I can't. <laughs> No, you got beat up by <sighs> Jersey's boyfriend. We know. No, never, <laughs> won't ever happen. I'm but weak. um, yeah, got sidetracked. No, we're going back to why you decided. <laughs> we had Listen, to just we did we yeah, just had to you no know, yeah. We're going back to why you decided to when you know we kind of like came up with the idea why you decided to say okay yeah let's do this podcast you know he was the one pushing it too yeah. Um, you thought we were emotional. Have you always wanted to be, do the podcast, do a podcast, or like was it just like something that kind of recently just kind of watching other podcasts inspired, inspired you, or you, have you always wanted? To so do it? I think with me, bro, it's like I've always I've always watched podcasts, and I, I look at the group that we have. I, I really evaluated a lot of people. It wasn't just like I came to y'all. I was like, oh yeah, I want to work with them. Yeah. I evaluated a lot of people. I was like, first and foremost, Cook is like one of my best friends. And I was like, you know what? Like me and him always been on the level of where, bro, we just talk about anything. We, we literally sit down, 
podcast or no podcast, bro. We'll sit down, we'll just chop it up, right, and we'll everything. have some of the, the best laughs that if it was recorded, it would do millions of views. Right. Right. So I was just like, bro, like, and Reese? I was like, Reese don't stop talking. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it was like, I felt like it was a perfect trio, and not just that, man. It was just like, bro, like, you know, um, one, y'all already wanting, y'all already wanted to do it, and then, Thanks. bro, another thing is like, Bro, we're not ugly. Like, you know, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not trying to You've do that. You've seen the marketing aspect, but of like, it as I'm well. like, yeah, it's it, you know, it's it brings attention, you know, and I felt like that was it was just like the perfect link up. And when I seen it, when I envisioned it, I was like, oh yeah, I was like, I was like, I want to get to like the top, the top ten. I sent them. I sent them the goals of the podcast. He sent them this morning. morning. He literally sent it. He was like, podcast day, podcast day. Yeah, and they I, sent like I a bunch super, of goals. I was and shit. super high. I was like, yo, look. Top ten podcasts in the world. I said I want to. I want 500k plus subscribers. Yeah. I want. I want a new office where everything is ran. Or the whole podcast is ran in the office, and we got people working. Um, you know, day by day with this. And then there was a couple other goals too, bro. But, but I we're feel, gonna smack all of them. I feel like the beauty of this as well too is like. You know what I'm saying? You guys may not know, but right now our office is in my house. And so it's like a it's a second bedroom, third bedroom or whatever. And so you guys are going to be able to see like literally the process, the beauty mm. of the process and us like slowly leveling up. Like we were talking about it when we were first setting up. We were like, we want to have this and that and this in the room. And then we were like, you know what? Like, let's show them, you know, the process and we're going to add to the, the room and have different levels up. But I feel like one thing I was going to say, too, is the crazy thing about this podcast, and I feel like, um, is that we have all, we're all in, like, the exact same spot in our lives, I feel like, for business-wise mm -hmm. and, like, our careers, is we're all happy with what we're doing, but we're also trying to figure out, like, how to level up and, like, where can we start to do things different. And so, with this, this is, like, the perfect example of us reaching out there, trying to do new things. And so and we're you know, staying in the same lane. It's just mm -hmm. basically figuring out something a little more interesting to do to add on to what we do. And already. to show like, I feel like with YouTube and you know, with what you do, they only, people only get to see so much of like how we truly are and like what we say. And with this, it's unfiltered. It's, we're really going to be, it's the name of it is talk that talk. So we're literally going to be talking about whatever the fuck I'm going to fuck up. I know that. So, it's a no filter podcast. There's no editing. Y'all are going to see raw, uncut shit. All episode 45 to an hour of just us just talking that talk. I just, I just realized we're going to be talking for an hour. <laughs> no, literally. And I, I, where he was saying about like us trying to get everything so perfect. And I feel like a lot of people like lose creativity sometimes in trying to, when they start something, they try to get every single item that is top tier, every single type of material, whatever that's gonna make the podcast perfect and better than everyone else, they kind of lose their creativity and lose like the love in the beginning of like, okay, I actually just wanted to sit down in front of a camera mm -hmm. with a mic and just literally just talk, not have all this shit behind me and around me and you know, we have LB behind the camera, and that is literally it. Behind all three cameras, and shout out to LB. He's behind yes, the camera. Sorry. He's going to be doing all of our editing, all of our Instagram clips that we're going to be giving to y'all, the TikTok. audio, everything, TikTok, everything. So we don't have a full warehouse full of people working for us. And so yeah. it, it starts somewhere, and eventually we hope that it gets to something bigger and all we did at the beginning was just start. That's the idea. I think, yeah, I think uh, between these, us three, uh, the creativity is beyond, yeah, be, it's, crazy. it's crazy. Like, it's the, crazy. the stuff the stuff Cook comes up with, the stuff Reese comes up with, man, and, and the stuff that I come up with, it's just like, man, I'm already knowing, like, off tops, bro, like, this is going to be, like, you're going to see crazy special guests, I'm talking about, you're going to see athletes, you're going to see celebrities, we're... Like, our goal, even I put in a goal this morning, I was like, yo, A-list celebrities. I was yeah. like, we're going to have A-list celebrities here. And I know it for a fact, bro, because it's like our network we're is tapped wild. In. Like, we're, all three of us are tapped into three different worlds. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it is we reach three different crowds 
by reaching the same crowd. When we get sense. Drake on the podcast, we made it. Don't oh, yeah. be a fan then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be a fan before then. Man. Don't be a fan. I know. Don't hop on the bandwagon once we get Drake on the but podcast. But we won't be complaining if you do hop Drake. on the Drake? Drake? <laughs> Oh, yeah. right, so what's what's going on in the world right now? What can we spice it up a little bit? Or what's uh, going on in your guys' lives that's kind of like... I lost my chain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. So Faz lost a 40000 or forty dollars to $50,000 yeah, chain. Stupid. At a, what is it, football game? <sighs> yeah. So if you're out there and you're watching this... <laughs> please, well, someone please. Is behind this, <laughs> someone is behind the screen like, ha, ha. I got it. Like, it the video. chain, the pendant said my name. So I'm like, bro, if I, okay, realistically, if I find the chain, bro, and, and I have someone else's says, name, I'm going to look on Instagram and be like, Ooh, big fans. Okay. You know what? I'm going, you know, I'm going to hit him back and be like, look, bro, you want your chain back? 20K. You know? I would have paid it. Yo, look. <laughs> if you're watching right Hold now, for I will, ransom, please. DM no. him if you have the chain. You got a FaceTime with proof. Yeah. Whoever said, get we know you snatched his chain. We know he's not saying that. <laughs> so, pause. No, no, no. Look, let me give you the story, bro. Let me give you the story. Damn, I can't even give the story. I can give the story. Yeah, give look, the story. Okay, so look, we were, on a, we were on a yacht in LA, and we were just vibing, you know, mingling, have a good time, you know, doing our thing. And I told the dude that's in charge of the yacht, I said, look, the game, the Rams game starts at 7. I need to be off this yacht. At six. This just mm-hmm. sounds like some baller ass talk. He <laughs> said, yo, you know, I was going to this game. I was on a yacht. Say, nah, yo, it, was, it was very player, but I'm not even gonna lie. It was very player, bro. So because you were with that was the weekend you were in LA with all the NFL players like Bryce, Sean yeah. Bryce Perkins, yes, sir. quarterback of the Rams. Uh, you know what's champ. crazy is I've never met Bryce. I don't think I have. Maybe I ran into him around. I don't you think you met him in person. Nah, but um, I definitely want to go to a game. He's vibes. Always no, another level you can take it to. Yeah, yeah. Especially always, when he's always out another level you can take it to, man. Shout we got to bring that on to the podcast. It's, it's always another level you can take it to. We always going to take it there. We always going to take it there. I remember I was in... Go ahead and tell the story. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we was on the yacht. Vibes, everything, you know. We was getting... You doing our thing. And... Explain doing your thing. <laughs> oh, why? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we was just vibing. We was just, you know, having a great time. I said, like... You know, there was, there was a, you know, great... Uh, great ratio. Yes. Um, okay, so, you know, we was doing our thing, you feel what I'm saying? And uh, uh, we, got off the, we got off the boat, and I was like, all right, bet. Like, I told, the, I told the, 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 the dude I need to be off this boat at 6 so I can make it to the game at 7. He gets me off the boat at 7.30. <laughs> so I'm, I'm over here. I got the truck waiting for me. Boom, we hop in the truck. I put a hoodie on over my shirt because I had so much jewelry on that I didn't. I wanted to cover it up. I'm not trying to go to the game in LA, like, especially. Yeah, we'll I'm talk about to, how weird LA is. Too. Yeah, I'm not trying to go to the game in LA with with mad jewelry and stuff. So I got a hoodie on. Put the hoodie on. It's covering everything. So it's just like I go to the game and remind you. I don't really remember much. Okay. And I go to the game and basically, bro, like I'm over here cheering for my boy. You know. Shout out Perk, quarterback of the Rams, and I guess I'm jumping up and down. There's a video of me in the stands, and I'm looking at the video, and I still see my chain. So I'm like, okay, bet. Like, I didn't feel it come off, but the chain, I guess, fell off my, my, my neck. I would have been and, so sad. And, like, bro, he has the worst luck. Like, yeah. I remember, because you told, when you told me you lost your chain, I'm like, bro, there's no way, because... I remember like a year and a half ago. Man. If you guys know about crypto, you know how shit. If you're into crypto, you know how shit works. Like, it's really it's it's up and down about like how secure your stuff can be. So mm-hmm. he remember like a year and a half ago, I told you he got hacked for like a hundred some thousand dollars. That. Yeah, my Coinbase had like a hundred and five thousand. Mm. But you don't be losing like two thousand dollars or twenty dollars on the floor. You be losing yeah. tens of thousands of dollars. But, but the but the thing is, bro, is I'm not attached to money. So yeah, how do you come back from something like that? Like how do you lose something? I feel like, like a chain or it's money. Like, it's just like a little step back, man. Like with me, bro, it's like I one I don't have no attachment to money. You know, um, connected to everything, attached to nothing. So with me, bro, it's like more the fact that it's like I could go and lose 10, 
twenty, thirty thousand dollars and not care because I know I can go and make it back easily. Yeah. Right. And it almost like pushes you as yeah. bad as that sounds. Yeah. Like, but it gives it puts you, like you in a that, place like, you're like, oh yeah, you know, I you've seen it to it. Yeah, I gotta get this money by tomorrow. <laughs> like, <laughs> really, yeah, I think I'm way to get this I'm money like, by tomorrow. Speaking yeah. of money, so this is gonna be interesting because he's the only single one in this. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So if you're in a relationship, ah, <laughs> do you pay for everything? Are you talking to me? Yeah. You... Do you pay for everything, or you do? You... Well, he's single, so you... I know. But I'm okay. saying for <laughs> in your opinion. when you do, or if you ever do decide to get into a relationship, or wherever life takes you, mm -hmm. do you pay for everything? And if so, when do you start cutting that off? To where it's like, okay, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start needing to see 50, 50, 75, 25, whatever. I think with me, it's more the fact that it's 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 really at the where, where the level you're at. Um, I feel <coughs> like if you don't got it like that, it's hard to make sure you're good and make sure someone else is good. But I feel like if you're you're in a, you're in a decent standing place and you can provide for you and you can provide for somebody else. I feel like you got to maintain and you got to provide for your loved one because like if I were to ever get into a relationship, you know, I would most <laughs> definitely, <You know? laughs> I would most definitely, you know, like I'm somebody that's, yo, have you ate yet? All right, man, let me get you lunch. Like, I'm going to make sure you're fed. I'm going to make sure. You're always trying to look out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I'm not, I, I don't like buying gifts like randomly. But I'm I'm somebody that will spend money without even looking at it. But like I'm not somebody that'll be like, oh look, I got like six bags of Louis Vuitton for you. Like, bro, yeah, I nah, don't do that, bro. Nah, like, that's not me. What but do you think? I don't. I exactly what he said. The whole I don't, I got six bags. So one thing about me, like in a relationship that I'm in now, obviously it's the best relationship I've ever been in. But it's crazy because I used to be that dude where I was like, you know what? When I do get into a relationship again, I'm not gonna be like. I'm not going to be f like paying for shit. But I feel like, like you said, when you're in the position to do that for your partner, like you got to, because I, it's a pride thing for me. Like I can't have my girl spend like even the littlest stuff. Like she'll always try to pay for like, you know, we'll go to in and out or something and she'll be like, yo, I got this. Like, I'll be like, just a fact. That's when I feel like it's right to be paying for everything mm. if your girl even just tries to, you know what I'm saying? I don't need you to, but at least like, if you're showing effort to like be wanting to do that, that just shows me that, okay, you're not just sitting there just taking my money and just like expecting everything. And like he said, like, I'm not doing the whole, yo, I got, I got a Birkin for you. Like, oh, here you go. Like, yeah. or you want this chain, you want this, this and that. Yeah, it's just, no. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna put you in a position to, figure out how to take care of you as well. And that way I don't have to, cause like, what type of person are you like not trying to build your girl up? Like, that's another thing is you gotta, as much as you're paying for everything, you want your girl to be able to pay for her shit if she mm -hmm. gets a chance. So I feel like also putting your girl on game is a big thing in a relationship or when you're into a girl, it's like teaching her, you know what I'm saying? The steps to get to that point. Right. That's what I, I think. Oh, that's, I feel like for when I, uh, like I've never had a girlfriend before Aileen and I hardly even went on dates as bad as it sounds, but <laughs> I, I feel like before Raylean, I didn't even like, I didn't even really have it like that because when I first started like, okay, I probably went on like three or four dinner dates in my entire life. <laughs> Real. And but crazy. <laughs> when it came to that, like, I didn't even have money like that to where, like, okay, probably had, like, $60, $75 in my bank account, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to pay for it. And this was, like, when we were living in L.A., in LA and I was sleeping on his, him and Popcorn's couch. Mm -hmm. I was, like, spending a lot of my money on, like, studio time or whatever I needed to do out in L.A. And I would have, like, less than $100 in my bank account. And then I would have like those good months where I get like up to like six, seven hundred dollars. And so like when I came back to Arizona, for some reason, when I came back to Arizona, that's when like all my stuff was booming. I started getting more money, signed a distribution deal. I had first time I saw like fifteen thousand dollars in my bank account. And then that's when I was like, OK, first. And then I met Raylene and I did not let her pay for shit like she because 
Raylene was like, <sighs> single mom, working a nine to five. She had money, because mm -hmm. she would work, go pick the girls up from daycare or school, and then come home, sleep. She never had time to like go out, no none of that. And so she had a lot of money saved up to where like, she was like, oh, I'll pay for myself or I'll pay for us, whatever. And so like, I remember our first date, I went to get us Borrow's pizza because we went to a salon. And cause she, I told her, I was like, I'll just go to a salon with you cause I was just trying to kick it with her. So we went and I sat, I laid down in the salon for like seven hours. So I was like, I'm hungry. I'll go get us like pizza or whatever. And she like pulled her card out and was like, here. So I took the card, but I didn't like <laughs> swipe took it. the card. <laughs> but I feel like, when the girl wants to pay and like you know you have money and you know she has money then i mean shit, let her pay sometimes but i get it it's like a pride thing it's like you grew up trained like okay the guy is supposed to do like it's sad but like you're trained and raised like the guy's supposed to do more yeah i feel like how you and how you treat your mom is how you're gonna treat her right yeah. So if you're like, cause I used to see kids that are like disrespectful. Disrespectful. Man. Like, I remember I used to have a homie that would cuss at his mom. I won't say his name on the podcast, but when we were in high school, like he would cuss at his mom, and I'm just sitting there like, damn nigga. And what's crazy is he. That's how he is in person now. Like to anybody, like he's just disrespectful. I'm so. a big believer on you know the way that you were raised is the way that you'll be when you're when you're older. Like you know, you you gain certain habits when you're when you're growing up and i feel like with those certain habits that you gain you start to produce without you even knowing it that's the crazy thing it's like why do you do that little stuff that you do is because when you were younger like you were just mentally fixed on that's what we do that's what we do so when you talk back to your mom you're more than likely to talk back to other girls or other uh women when you're older yeah and i was just like damn like i heard that once before and i was just like yeah so like you know you sometimes you have to understand you have to take a step back bro you got to look at yourself because a lot of people don't understand that you got to take a step back and look at yourself from like a third person point of view and be like okay well you know how am i really acting because people don't understand how they act until they really have a near-death experience until they have like a a, a heartbreak yeah you know, or, or, or breakup or whatever it is you know certain things like that so I mean, growing up, your parents or how you was raised really just affects you. That's, yeah. that's, I, I believe in that 100% because you see these kids that are like, you, you think they're so twisted in the head. Mm -hmm. And it's like 25% of the kids that are twisted in the head are just legit. They just chose to take that route. And they grew up with great parents. They grew up with a great lifestyle. And they just, that one time that they decided to try something or do something, and they just fell down the wrong road and now that's all they know mm -hmm. then there's the other 75 percent where that's actually they were either raised like that or they were or they were just either abandoned and they had to fiend for themselves and so i see that's why i'm like so sympathetic to all, like a lot of homeless people because you never like i'm a big believer and you never know what they went through to get to the point that they're at because they're like there's so many like social media posts on like, and I'll catch myself like laughing at videos sometimes like of these so-called crackheads. Yeah, um, we'll touch these, on that too, like just social media, but go ahead. These viral videos and I got to sit back and really like catch myself like, I don't know what the fuck they went through. And so some, that's all they know sometimes. And all they know is to just be on the streets and fiend that way rather than just, okay, get into a shelter you know, not doing drugs for six, seven months and get clean, get a job and distract themselves that way. Some, some of them, it's easier said than done. Yeah, I feel like, and then speaking of like social media, it's crazy how social media now has just affected so much shit mm. in life, like with everything. I'm talking about, like there's times where I'm just like, you see people, like there's certain videos that are posted, like you said, like you laugh at like, you know, certain TikToks or whatever I posted, like if someone like really doing some dumb, like they're just like say crackhead or homeless or something like that. And people are laughing at it and stuff like that. But that's the perfect example of like how social media has literally molded people now is to where it's just like everybody, it almost seems like the only shit that's going viral is drama. Exactly. Fucked up shit. Like people love, they fiend on 
being able to put someone down. Twitter exactly. is literally drama and sex. That's literally it. Yeah. Every time I open up Twitter, it's That's like 10 tweets with like I don't fuck with sex tweets. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to know what the fuck you're thinking on the sexual side. Like, Pe- People would rather see negativity than positivity. Oh, 100%. For sure. They, they want to see, they, like, they see drama because they're, they want they want something to watch. Like, I remember like, I don't know why, but positivity, like, it warms my heart. It gives me like, Chills. You ever watch those videos where it's like, you know, the, the marine dad or mom comes home? Oh, I home. watch those all the time. I Bro, be I look those videos up and like, <laughs> when they surprise their kids in school, I love that. Like, I love that uh-huh. shit, bro. Or like, you know... Uh, giving money to the homeless. Giving money to We've the seen homeless. you did that. How was yeah. that? Like, uh, going... Because, oh, you know, what's crazy is I actually seen when you posted that. That was... Speaking of what I was saying, that's the perfect example. Like, I saw you even made a post on your story. So he went out, he did like... You gave money to hell of homeless mm-hmm. people. And I think you did food too, right? Or no, I just did money. Did, just did yeah. money. So and a note. And the note. Did, and the a note, note was the most that, sincere that's part. That's what you did. So he gave uh, homeless people like money and had like a note, like, you know what I'm saying, positive note or whatever. And I seen you even felt the need to make a post basically saying, because I guess you were getting like backlash mm-hmm. for it. Like people were like, oh, why are you putting this on the internet? But it's like, it's crazy because... You try to do good, and you're still gonna get. That's why I really exactly. tweeted that. I said, I said, you do right, and someone's gonna think it's wrong. You do wrong, someone's gonna think it's right. Exactly. Either way, you're. And that's the thing. And when I was doing it too, bro, it was like I got so many messages because what I was doing was I would just I had it in a brown paper bag. I put like two hundred, three hundred dollars in there. I put a note, and I would just run. I would give it to the homeless person. I would just, just run, run away. <laughs> Did you end up? talking to them after no did any it, of them weigh you back so, down and nah it, I, I just ran away and it had a note and it said you know better times are coming boom 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 so and so just like a really <clears throat> warm heartfelt message and i got their reaction and the reason why i got their reaction was because man like just seeing their reaction was it was dope bro like i love see that's a, that's the type of person i am and people be like, oh you're just doing that for clout in reality no i'm doing it to push the next person to be like I got so many messages where like, yo, bro, like I just, I just gave this to the homeless. I just did this. I just, bro, I seen your video. I seen your video. I just did this, bro. Like, and then I would add like a hundred messages for every hundred messages. It was like two to three people were like, bro, you didn't have to record that stuff. That's crazy. Like, keep that up. I was just like, bro, you see so much negativity on, on the, on the social media nowadays. It's just like, why are you so concerned about someone doing positive exactly. when, when there's so much negativity? Bro? Yeah. And they'll sit there and comment like some like LMFAO on some, someone getting their ass beat, but will comment some negative shit on someone giving you, giving money saw, to the homeless. Uh, Damn, I saw there was an incident that happened um, about that. There was there's this app or there's this uh, Twitter page. It's called Uh huh. And they posted a video of the guy or the the guy that got shot outside. Oh yeah. And I saw that page was getting one hundred. Like there were so many comments of. And it's what what blows me is not even the situation that happened, but the the need that a guy or whoever it was behind the camera felt the need to pull the camera out and record. And so when I when I see stuff like crazy. to where like you see videos of these dudes getting knocked out or even that that video of the hit and run of the car speeding up and hitting those <laughs> five dudes or whatever fighting outside the, yeah. the bar. It's oh, crazy that, that. that it blows my mind that people's first instinct is to pull their phone out and press record. Because when I'm with, like, even, like, our fans and stuff, they like to see videos of us, like, on our stories when we go on vacations and stuff, like, what we're doing and stuff like that. Like, I'm never the per- – and it's not – it's nothing wrong when it comes to that type of stuff, but I've never, like, first thought, let me pull my phone and record whatever we're doing. But there's I've always- two different views to that, though. That camera, that that video could have saved, could have caught who did it, could have, could have, um, you know, it, it it it's pros and it's cons to let it. Let me, yeah, let me clear that up. That was a dash cam, so that's fine. That was a dash cam that mm-hmm. was recording that hit and run. But the other incident, and there's multiple instances. I'm just using that as an example, mm-hmm. not calling the guy out or nothing, but just as an example of I've seen so many videos of dudes getting 
in fights and getting knocked out and stuff and people are they're not recording that just for evidence now if someone's yeah. getting talked to by the police or whatever i see what's going on in the world and that's 100 percent okay but when it comes down to like the fights and these people are behind the camera laughing oh he got his ass knocked out i just i've never i've never understood it like to where it's like that's their first instinct is to pull out the camera and that's how crooked social media is yeah i mean social media has taken over the whole world it's scary we just took youtube away from the girls because it like we would we would let them watch youtube we monitor and stuff but like we grew up on none of that yeah we would let them watch we're let we would let them watch youtube like literally just go on youtube and we they obviously have like their home page and they're watching like little kids stuff but every once in a while there'd be a weird ass video that pops up so we had them we switched them from youtube to youtube kids made them a profile and restricted a lot of stuff and so mm -hmm. it's just bro it, it's weird the, the world is becoming a world to where you can't even let your kids walk outside like we used to at eight years well, old well you'd be back home before the lights before turn the street on lights, man. we're good not having <laughs> like, to worry about that's, nothing that's the thing like nobody it's really such a under different. you can never bring that back and that's Never. the crazy like we, we didn't have, have no home social the media lights on. we didn't have yeah bro we was outside playing dodgeball like playing basketball playing a whole bunch of games that you just make up as kids bro like ding dong like, bitch man hide in the can and i don't know it was just a bunch What's of hide stuff. in the can man it was it was it was something we used to play with doodle ball <laughs> <laughs> we used to play bro we used to play this game called doodle ball right with stacy <laughs> me so, and me justice stacy and his brother Explain this is him. a perfect example of how different it is now compared to back then like we literally would come up with shit that made no sense but it was just because all we were doing was outside like that's all you were back then and we had this one game where in our backyard we used to have this this bucket of shit because me and jordan <laughs> dog shit though like we dog would like scoop the shit put on the side of the house every month we'd usually like dump it out yeah we weren't just shitting in the bucket <laughs> <laughs> so we would scoop it in the in the bucket or whatever and like it would rain right so it would get hella like mushy and watery mushy and like. watery and we uh my best one of my best friends stacy he had he has this younger brother and he basically like we would always like pick on him or whatever because it was just funny to see them fight like their fights were od like pulling oh, knives dude. out on each oh, other like <laughs> as kids bro and i remember we had this this uh so we got we grabbed the soccer ball one day and we came up with this game we're like let's play doo-doo ball bro it's the most scariest game in the world because you dip the ball in the doo-doo bucket <laughs> what, kind ball, what, kind of, what kind of ball was it soccer, soccer ball, ball football whatever i think it was football it was football something you just dip you it just in the shit it, in the bucket of shit. You gotta throw it around and play tag. Dude, bro, dude. it was like you get smacked in the face. It's like oh, you want to cry. <laughs> no, you want to cry because it's like Wait, what? like what, okay. bum bum. what made y'all just like? Oh, no. <laughs> but what made y'all just come up with that, bro? I don't. Literally nothing. Know. We were just bored. Didn't have nothing to do. We were tired of the other games. Yeah, the ball, the ball, and the shit. And you're like, now what would you do if I just mushed this and threw it at you? Nah, that's, yeah. that's a lot. But not nah, it that's that's the thing, right? It, it's changing, bro. So it's like I'm even watching my little nephew. He got he don't he don't leave his iPad, TV, like it's sad. And and what and that's another thing of how kids are raised. Mm -hmm. Put your foot down. I think you're like blocking. Oh. And that's another thing of how kids are raised. Like it's sad to say, but we're so easy to give them the iPad and the iPhone. Because we're on it now. Because we're like, you know what? Like just get off me here. It's, yeah, a it's, like, it's a babysitter. It's yeah. the best babysitter there is. We couldn't even watch MTV, BET. Like, that was, like, forbidden. Like, my mom, music videos. Like, no we couldn't music even watch videos. music videos. <laughs> because she was scared of the us seeing the girls naked or, like, you know what I'm saying, in their bikinis or whatever. Now it's, like, kids are watching whatever on YouTube. I've walked up on kids on their iPads and been, like, why the fuck are you watching a cat getting killed? Like, what is going yeah. on? But and it's just like social media just has that stuff just ready for anybody to watch. Like, bro, a ten year old can go and buy OnlyFans. Like, if you really think about it, bro. I didn't like, think about that. Like, like, like he crazy. can go and buy OnlyFans if he wanted to, bro. But it's like, like fake the date, fake his birthday. <laughs> like, bro, they gonna check it, bro. Like, he, got he this googles. Dope. I know that is what crazy. What year do you have to be born to be 21? <laughs> <laughs> so like he he watched all these OnlyFans and stuff like that, and it's just imprinted in his mind. Like yeah. that's like I I didn't start watching porn until I was like <laughs> 13. 13. Yeah. I don't know. I think 
Damn. Um, yeah, getting into that topic is OD. <laughs> 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 I mean, okay. Um, <laughs> we can change the topic a little bit. We, we can, can talk go. about the pros of social media. The yeah. good things in social oh, media yeah. is because, you know what I'm saying, we're talking about all the bad. We're I talking mean, about all the bad, but we make a lot of our money off of social media, so there's not all bad things. Yeah. It is 50-50, I'll be that. That's that's the percentage right there. It's 50-50. I feel like it's crazy things. now. Like, I feel like, especially with TikTok, bro, TikTok has changed the game. Like, mm -hmm. And what's crazy is I, I figured out, because I'm like, why? Like, if you look on YouTube, if you go on YouTube... There's a lot of people that were popping, like getting hella views that aren't getting as much views no more or aren't as popping. But it's because literally, like, like I said, social media just affects so much of the world that just TikTok being made and TikTok being so viral has made people's attention span so fucking small. Because everybody just wants to see a 15 second clip like that's like yeah. banger right away. And so that has affected you know what I'm saying, obviously YouTube, because now people are like, if shit's not happening within 15 seconds, like, I'm out. Right. And, but TikTok is, TikTok is crazy. Like, the shit you can see on there is ridiculous. Well, like, let me ask you this. You been doing YouTube for how long? Ooh, it's about to be like five years. Five years. How many subscribers you got? Like 911,000. I've been stuck. And, and see, this is the crazy thing. You bring somebody with, I think, I, I've seen somebody hit a million subscribers on TikTok in three months. Yeah, exactly. You see, oh, yeah. you see TikTok that. is like, bro, I went, when I first started TikTok, I didn't believe in this shit. Justice was doing TikTok, Tracy was doing TikTok, and I, at first I was like, bro, that's so corny. cringy, it's corny. <laughs> and it was, like, but I'm like, okay, if that's how we're gonna gain numbers, we're doing it. <laughs> so, I remember posting a couple of videos, and I'm like, I can't run into Justice, like, bro, look at my videos, it's going viral. <laughs> and like, when, it's not just like, Yo, you're just saying it's going viral because it has 10,000 views. Like, nah, viral on TikTok is viral. Like, mm -hmm, yeah. you're getting 900,000 to 42 million views. And, bro, I gained, like, 220,000 followers on TikTok in a matter of, like, four months. And it's ridiculous. I'm like, how the fuck do I reach this much people? And that TikTok has changed the game, legit. Speaking of getting uh, views or interaction on social media, what's crazy is I've changed my mindset now to where I used to be so sensitive when it came down to like, like it would fuck with my mental when I would see negative comments mm -hmm. on my videos, stuff like that. Now, I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of like adapting and I'm like starting to put stuff out there that's giving people because like back, like we were saying like people love to comment on negative shit i'm putting stuff out there specifically to give people the option to be like yo this is hella dope or i don't even care to comment or fuck what the fuck are you doing da -da 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 -da. because now i'm like fuck that i'm about to play the game if y'all want to comment on everything if y'all want to have like people love negative i'm gonna give you negative to comment on because all publicity now to me is publicity and it's, it's worth it. So now I'm kind of like, I'm letting shit out there. Like my job specifically is to entertain you. And, and that's the thing about, that's the thing about now is like, I've gotten to a point to where it's like, bro, I don't, I don't care what nobody says. Um, you know, my, my mentality. And I realized that bro, it's like, you're not going to be a millionaire caring about what the next person is saying. You're not going to be a millionaire thinking about what the dude that's making 50K a month, 50K a year talking about. Yeah. Like, what, bro? Like, I've gone to the points where it's like, man, like, my creativity and the way that I'm moving, I'm just going to do and elevate. Bro, I don't, like, I've been, bro, I've been reading lately. You know what I'm saying? Man, what you mean? <laughs> that's one I thing mean, I cannot do, bro. I, mean, I will not sit down and read a book. I should just go in my eyeballs. <laughs> just, I, I, don't even, I, refer, I forget everything I read. Bro, but that's the thing. I like I I never been a reader since like you know AR points in, in in elementary school. Yeah. So I've been reading, and yo, the amount of stuff, like the amount of knowledge you can learn, and just utilizing your everyday life, bro. It's like it's crazy. See, like, I've always heard that, but I've never, like, I try to read, trust me. I'm like, I'm an audio books type of nigga. Like, you can I do need, that, though. You can, you can get a book, you can listen to the audio, and you can follow along. Yeah. Like, and... It just sucks. It's like... But, but if you're following along, you're reading. Exactly. <laughs> but, so what's but, the point of listening to the audio book if you're reading? You're following but, along. Because so. sometimes people are different. People are visual learners. People are audio learners. So it, yes. it depends. Sir, Raylene it, just started it, reading. Mm -hmm. Raylene like, just started reading. She just got that, uh... Who's the, uh, he's the pastor, 
He just made a book. It's about like relationship. JD? Or he's on TikTok a lot. Black dude. You know exactly what I'm talking Jakes? about. Jakes. He's like uh, he made that viral TikTok. That's like uh, I'll I'll show you guys later. But he just made a book. It's about like relationship and like how to make a relationship work. And I've never been the type to like listen to like and that's basically like a counseling book you know what i'm saying but it's not but without going to a counselor and i've never been the type to like oh I, every relationship is so different like i can't have someone sit there and try and tell me something that he would tell another couple the same shit because he's yeah. getting paid every hour mm. but i do want to sit down and kind of i haven't even read the book but it looks good just from the title and the little like key points that ha that it has on the title page and so I want to sit down and see kind of what he has to say because there are those things that in our relationship where we're like, okay, there's things that we do need to fix and there's things that we don't. Yeah. And uh, I want to see if we're doing anything wrong that we think we're doing right. And so maybe that could be the first book that I read and maybe I fall in love with reading. I haven't Sally's, sat and see, read a book since... Sophomore year of high school. <laughs> There's always another level you can take. I read the summary. I read the summary on the back of the page, and my teacher's like, "Did you read the book? Yeah, it's about this." Hey. She's like, "That's what it says on the back of the book." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, I haven't read a book since The Hobbit." Yeah, yeah bro. I, yeah. Magic yeah. school bus. Magic school. It's like I've been I've been reading a lot of mindset books, leadership books, and just like stuff like that. And how bro. do you think it's like affected you, man, bro, on like an like, everyday basis? Do I look like all right on some real, bro? <laughs> if I'm walking in the street, you look toxic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do I look like somebody that reads, that meditates, that prays? Honestly, me knowing you, I would say yeah, because I can. You're just you're one of those people that's really good. Like both of you guys, I'm starting to get it down now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm start, and it's taking me a minute. But I feel like knowing you guys, you guys are both the same. Like you're very focused, very locked in. But if like, you didn't know me though. If I didn't know you, if you just see me walking in the street, would you be like, oh yeah, that, that, I, 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 I go, I go off. <laughs> 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 nah, I wouldn't. I mean, but you also don't judge a book by its cover. That's like, the thing. I go off of vibes. I feel like if you're the way you carry yourself, I can tell you're definitely level-headed. Definitely got what you got going on. Mm -hmm. Like you're not this nigga walking. Like there's a difference between. You know what I'm saying? Walking around with jewelry being one type of person compared to walking around with jewelry being this type of person. Like I can tell that it's not. It's not a facade. It's not you like trying to like flash out on everybody. Mm -hmm. It's just like I'm. This is these are my trophies. This show. Exactly. I'm about some. Like I got. Like I got it going. And like I think that's another thing. Like with jewelry, just to touch on. But yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like even if I didn't know you and I seen you, I'd be like, yeah, the way he carries himself, just the way you walk, shit like that. Like no homo, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You can tell when someone. It's level-headed right? If you pay attention to people in the right way. But yeah. no, I don't know if I would think you read books, honestly. Yeah, that, but that's the thing. It's just like, I, like your image, people look at our images and just be like, oh, like he's this, 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 and that, or he does this. Like, bro, like I've been, I've been developing myself as like a person, as a human being, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, like even financially, uh, nigga physically. in the morning, like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, I was hey. Both. Hey, he really that's, you know what's crazy? I was like, I sent Cook a meditation video. I said, do this, bro. It's a 10 minute video. Just meditate. <laughs> did and you do it? I think I did it. I think I texted you. I did, did it, it one morning. He did it one morning. I, it was when I was at the gym. He said to do it like when I wake up before you get on your phone or anything. He said, just do this, blah, blah, blah. But I was at the gym and I caught myself like stretching. And I was like, hmm, like, let me just try to like. You know, close my eyes and just sit here. Did it? It was kind of hard because you know you got all these people walking by. And you got like, music and stuff. It doesn't make sense, like <laughs> where you see these people going to the forest and shit. Are like, Yo, let's get and they're like to here. where you hear nothing but either like birds chirping or like just natural sounds, rather than at the gym you hear fucking dumbbells clanking and yeah, you're, you're that setting, doesn't make sense. Your oh. setting has to be in the right spot for you to like meditate. One thing I would say, I guess I don't I don't do that after that first time I did it. I would do it again for sure. I have nothing against it. It helped for that day. But <laughs> <laughs> but one thing that I do do now that I used to not do, which I don't know if it made an impact on me, but I feel like I don't know, you guys probably know like I'm on a whole different level than what I was a year and a half ago. But just with everything like my schedule what i'm focused on but i we listen to meditation music every night as we're going to sleep so i'll be like yo alexa put on meditation music 
And you'll and sleep with it on? Nigga, I'll sleep with that shit just ding, 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 <laughs> whatever. And I'm telling you, like, I get the it's best for sleep. for the subconscious mind, man. It's like, I can't, now I can't go to sleep. Like, for some reason, going to sleep with nothing on, I can't go to sleep with the TV on because too much going on. Yep. I can't go to sleep with no sound because my mind, I feel like I'm like, when I'm sleeping, I feel like it's like an empty library. And I'm just like hearing like, just little noises like the fan. See, I like... I like going to sleep with a imp- like with nothing playing or like all I hear is the fan because I like thinking about what I'm gonna do the next day. I like thinking, okay, see that stresses me out. No, because I like thinking, okay, I got I got to get this shit done. These bills are due tomorrow or these bills are due in a couple days. It gets me thinking because that's the first time. It's, it's sad to say, but when you work off your phone, when our job is our phone, you don't put your phone down a lot. And when you put your phone down a lot, it's to do something else. Yeah. You're never putting your phone down just to lay down and not think about anything. So when I put my phone down and I lock it finally at the end of the night, and I'm laying there, I'm like, okay, I'll catch myself opening my eyes, setting a reminder, hey, make sure you pay this bill tomorrow. Shit like yeah, that. Yeah, see, that's cool, but I'm not going to sleep thinking about hella shit. I'll be stressed out Yeah, no, nah, sitting I, there sweating. There's been some times where I've been falling, I fell asleep off of like, I mean, for personal development, like I just... I got Jim Rome playing, or I got, you know, I got certain just like a soft, easy, like voice, just, you know, personally developing you and stuff like that. Oh, so you're saying you're listening to people talk while you're falling asleep? Yeah, bro, because when you're sleeping, that's when your subconscious mind is really See, be like, like, is it's that a does make sense, fuck. though. So, so, so even, though you're, even though you're asleep, like you your brain still, is still your thinking brain and taking is still that in. Working, and, and those, those words that are, that he's talking about are still coming into your brain and you're still understanding it. So like, you're going to be asleep and he's going to say some big ass word and then you're at a meeting the next day and you say that and word. And you you're say like, the word. How, how the fuck did I know that? Where did that come from? And you're just like, bro, it's like, it's like that that's, shit baffles me. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you're going to start sitting sorry. like this. You're just like that millionaire. You know, that's how I was going to say. Jordan yeah. sits like a rich ass, just like, <laughs> Jordan be like, you know, yes, this is, this is how I feel. <laughs> Like, damn, nigga. I used to think something like this was gay, but a lot of times, like, I mean, shit, the rich niggas be doing it, so. Bro, it's honestly, I started sitting like this when I was on a plane one day. I was sitting actually like this because my now knee I'm gonna was stay. bothering me. You don't have me stuck like this now. No, when I was, I was on the plane, I'm like this, and I have my phone. I was like, and then I get the, whenever I get, whenever I, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put y'all on game right now. <laughs> when you book through Southwest Airlines, go to Southwest Airlines. I'm sorry if you see this, but when you book through Southwest Airlines, they ban you from travel. You book a ticket that's basically general admission. Mm-hmm. Like they give you a position, you get to pick your seat throughout the plane. So when you book through Southwest Airlines, show up 15 minutes before your flight, go to the desk at your gate, and tell them you need pre board. When you tell them you need pre board, they legally cannot ask you why you need pre board. If they ask you, and if you don't want to make a big deal out of it, just be like, I had surgery, whatever. And I, I'm not lying. I had surgery on my knee and my knee cramps up sometimes if my knee is like folded too long. And so I just, I get pre war and I get on before even the people with the wheelchairs. Sad to say. But, <laughs> Fuck <that>. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I'm taking up one seat. Or, or you know what you can do and for any airline. Um, this works. This works probably like 20 out of 22 times. <laughs> What type of number? <laughs> 20 out of 22 times. There's two things that you can do. One, you can say that you have a peanut allergy. They let you on. Before, <laughs> I heard about that. They, they let wild. you on before anybody. Or two. They'll be like, yeah, I'm using that You know that what? Every time. If you, if you, um, you can board whenever you want. If you're group eight and they're calling, hey, group one, group one, you can go and scan your own thing. They're not going to say nothing. Hell nah. How much you wanna, I've done I, that shit and they're like, I fly sir, back to the line. Week. Too. I, fly, I fly every week, bro. But see, you're walking hey. up with monkey pox and shit. So okay, first like, off, bitch. No. See, that's, I know. Bro, they turn my ass away. They're like, sir, you, you are group seven. You don't turn have, around. You don't have confidence. You shake it. Hey, I'm over there like. <laughs> 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 Just you imagine gotta, you, the one is a seven. You just gotta, you gotta have the confidence. <laughs> and when they try to take your ticket, don't let them take your ticket. I got it. Yeah. Bro, you just gotta have the confidence and they'll let you on, bro. Every time. And then when they say something, just walk. Yeah. Cause they don't care to like, you gotta think about it. Hey, people in the airport are fuck yeah. rude, bro. Speaking of that, 
there's just these people that have a job and if they're whatever they're attending to you or whatever and like one up off the bat they're rude i always think like bro if you really don't like your job or you want to take it out on other people don't do this but find something see but that's where it's like to you that's so simple because that's what you're mm -hmm. but you i've never been the type to just be rude know, to but, someone but just you don't because know how their day was though i know that but i've never believed <laughs> so don't be mean. <laughs> i've never believed in like being rude to someone that you don't either don't even know or has never done it. Don't take shit out on other people. Oh yeah, that's because that's facts. if they're having a bad day, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever is going on, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. But do not take that shit out on me. That's when I will get pissed off because <laughs> if there's something going on in your life, I'm not. Gonna, if something's going on in my life, I'm not gonna be like walking through the place. Fuck you. <laughs> and I'm just walking like, they're like, what did I do? Ah, oh, my dog died. Fuck you. <laughs> what does that have to do with them? I had a dude at the airport and I'm, you, like most people are better than me because when someone gives me attitude is like rude to me, I will like put it in your face to make you show that you're truly being rude. Like you're not going to be able to slick do some shit and, and just, and I'm just going to be like, nah, he didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, like I was at the. I was at the airport, this is on our way to Jamaica or whatever, and uh, we had a flight from here to Miami and then Miami to Jamaica or whatever. And there was like, you know they got the little stack, snack stands on the mm -hmm. side or whatever? Yeah. And there was this like Asian dude and, and uh, so he's, there's a lady in front of me, she's checking out and he's like talking to her being hella nice. Like I was like, oh this is like, you know when you just feel good vibes from someone, you're like, oh yeah, like I can't wait to talk to this person, like I know it's going to be interesting. <laughs> So he's vibing with her. I come up and I'm like, I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, usually I don't be like, I'm not really caring to start a conversation, but I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna show some love because I can tell he's being nice. So I'm like, hey, how's your day going? He doesn't say nothing. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay. So I just kind of like dub it and then I'm like putting my stuff. He doesn't say, not even looking at me. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, how's your day going? Like again, he's like, uh, he looks at me, he's like, I don't have to talk to you. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't have to talk to you. That's why you're be like, I was honestly excited to talk to you, dude. <laughs> like, like, I was, I was feeling of, a vibe when you were talking to the girl before. Yeah. Don't ruin it now, take it back. <laughs> I was like, I get, you don't have to talk to me. I don't have to talk to you. I was just asking how your day go is going. And then he just like looks down and just doing a hell of mad. And I was just like, damn, like, it's just so sad. Everybody in the airport, that works there is just walking around mad. Like, even TSA, like, you be coming to the check. -in. Nah, TSA. Spread your legs, keep your hands straight. Like, fuck, bro. Like, hey, Kansas <laughs> City TSA. I just came Make sure Kansas. you take your shoes off and put them in the basket. Laptops out to you fucking see it? <laughs> <laughs> Any liquids or candies, please throw it away. Oh. Like, bro, sorry. they really be screaming. Take sure. the belt off. <laughs> Is this your backpack? Jordan read it. TikTok. Put it on the belt. Jordan read it. TikTok. I'm like, okay. Like, like fuck. <laughs> he was going through TSA. Bro, he was like, <laughs> shaking and shit. <laughs> if you got the laptops and the electronics out, put it on the back. Nah, they be having people in check though, cause I be in check. Like when I be walking up, I be like, please take your fucking shoes off. Like, I'm not <laughs> trying to get your shoes off. I'm not training you this point. And it's like they're all the same in every city. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like, yo, it's like they, they all train by one person. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, yeah, it's train it sucks. Like, it sucks. But I feel like we did have a good conversation today. I feel like we did. Are we? How, how many yeah, minutes we're are good. we? We're up. Uh, 53. 53. Yeah. Damn. I feel like we really did have a good conversation today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first. This is ba this is technically the first episode of Talk That Talk episode. Yeah. Talk That Talk Sheesh. podcast. <laughs> episode that shit just flew by bro uh-huh when you're happy it's crazy because podcasts are so fun because when you're having an intense and entertaining conversation and it's going everywhere it's like it, fly, it flies back so yeah. oh before for our next episodes what we wanted to tell you guys is uh i don't know if we should put an email in the description or they could just dm us on <clears throat> our instagram if we made one or on our personal instagrams but we want you guys to send in like a funny video or something that we can touch on at the beginning of every podcast. We're gonna yeah, start. Yeah, we'll have an email in the description. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're gonna start having uh, 
like a shout out period for the start of our episodes where you guys send in like a funny video, whether it's a family like incident or whatever it is, drama you guys want us to talk on, we'll shout you guys out, show some love on the video that you sent, give our opinions on it, and then we'll get the podcast started. Thanks. And uh, I love that. Before if you we do go, special though, guests too. They need to yeah. let us know. Yeah, yeah, special guests. We are gonna have lots and lots of special Recommend guests. Special guests, because anybody that you think we can't have on here, we can get them. We, can get, on we can get them. Athletes, rappers, <laughs> entrepreneurs, <laughs> all that, all that good we stuff. We say artists, not rappers. Yeah. It's it's be anyway, but like I was saying before, we do go. I just had to like let this be known. Don't like, say nothing funny. No, I just like I had to let this be known. Every time we do this podcast, I'm gonna have the best drip. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best. You know what's so crazy? I'm, hey, I'm no. gonna have the best drip. You know what's so crazy? I'm gonna have the best drip. It's I sad to say. Listen, what saying. listen, it is sad to say that Fads showed up in a different outfit when he came here. He saw what we were wearing, so he had to change for the podcast. <laughs> so if you're talking like that, come original. Oh yeah, well, no, I came with outfits for the party. He got to see. He had to come multiple so he could see. He got we options. Wearing. He got, I got another options outfit. too. One thing more. about me, you'll notice, is I'm just I'm gonna be just clean. Either a white but tee, that's you. a plain shirt. For me, I'm saying, man, He's coming I'm gonna be the department. drippiest. That's fine. Dude that's fine. On the podcast, that's fine. But I'll, all of our social medias will be in the description box down below. Um, if you guys have never seen any of us. And you guys, we just popped up on your uh, homepage. Go ahead and follow all of us yeah. on all social medias. This podcast is, this is literally just the beginning. You guys have seen the very first episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, once a week, every Wednesday. Once a week, every Wednesday at. We don't know yet. So we don't know yet. We'll tell you second podcast. <laughs> but when it goes up, we're going to be consistent. Same day, same time, same drip. Not the same drip. It's different drip. We're going to have different same, drip different every time. Drip. Same tips. The only one that can compete? <laughs> this is the only one that can compete right now, bro. What is that supposed to mean? Bro, you can't, you can't How is that like even that. supposed to you can't even How is that? What are you trying to look at your fit for? Because, look at me. Look at you. Look, we have literally the same material shoes on. We yeah. just have beige shoes. See, see, the thing is... I have the is, original. But, but you got to see how you put When was the last time you seen these shoes? He put it together. I'm not trying to hold it When was the last time you seen on the shoe? When was the last time? Shoe, I see what you're you know what I'm when saying? was the last time you Got seen these shoes on somebody? Man. That it has been a minute since yeah. I've seen those. Thank you. Honestly, if you're in LA though, you'll and, probably see them. And listen, again. I got the I got the black sweatpants with the slit on the side, not just some regular sweatpants. See, if you were really drippy, it would have been stacked. And I got but, the clean white yeah. tee. Clean yeah, white tee never that. worn before. Fresh iron. <laughs> you iron your clothes? <laughs> yes, I iron my fucking Do you let roll them? <laughs> Hey man, we out of here, bro. All right, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Talk that talk. <laughs>